you, Hilde, for uh, having your time uh, to be here with us. Um, welcome. It's, it's nice to see you again, and it's a true honor uh, to have you as our first uh, guest speaker. Thank you, Martin, for the invite. Always nice to speak to you. Great. Um, let's break the ice with a personal question. What was the experience that revealed to you that UBI is such an important thing? Uh, well, at one point, I think it was about 10, 15 years ago, I just realized that if you want to eliminate poverty, then the easiest way to do that is to give money directly to the people, because then they can decide for themselves how to uh, uh, solve the problems that they have in their lives or in, or in their community. And then I think it was seven years ago, I decided to become active in the basic income community. And I started off as a writer because that was the easiest way uh, to, to learn more about basic income. And then I realized it is much more than uh, eliminating poverty. It really is about uh, absolute freedom of choice, for example, and about not judging other people for their behavior. So it is more like almost a phys philosophical uh, way of how you look at other humans that you don't know. And um, the un unconditionality of the basic income uh, um, uh, shows that you know you don't have the only the only condition you have to meet is being human, alive, and unique. Of course. <laughs> yeah, um, I've seen a lot of videos from you, and also read uh, some articles from the VN. And you are an outstanding activist um, of this UVI movement, and and fortunately now the movement is, is gaining more traction. I've seen it a lot, the new also governments taking more action into this, uh, most recently Canada and also I saw uh, uh, Greece have, uh, looking to, to stay, establish this also. So it's very nice that we have people like you very active in this. Um, it can be seen also that your breath is dedication through all these uh, if, if somebody just Googles your name, it appears UBI, 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 and, and that, that, that is awesome. Um, can you tell us what is your personal mission? Well, I've promised myself that I will not stop until it's there. Uh, because it is, I think, the only way um, that we can really reach every single human being on Earth. And uh, it is so easy and so simple and so mu so much cheaper than what we're doing now. Uh, so yeah, this basic income is my personal has become my personal mission, to be honest. And um, yeah, so I'm doing my best to 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 spend my spare time to to make it happen in all different kind of ways. So yeah, that's great. That's great. I think it should be um, a, a shared mission, like. Because it's it's for the benefit of everyone, right? And yeah. in, in as you said in in one video that I liked a lot, uh, I think was the uh, what if UBI, what if machines could pay for our UBI? Um, like it covers a lot of SDGs, yeah. And and it 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 just helps everybody. I'm sure that many people watching and hearing us is getting inspired by your commitment and as I did when watching this video of the machines and also when working with you uh, in, in Mission Possible in the hackathon um, and the Odyssey hackathon and it, it was very inspiring to, to work with more people that is very very committed I will say like committed to the soul or to the bone uh, for, for making this happen and um, so I hope many more people uh, can, can reach to you and, and can uh, collaborate also into this and get more inspired. Um, yeah, so let's... Yeah, if you let's, want to change things, change things. Yeah, we, we need to, to put something of our time and, and knowledge and everybody can contribute somehow, right? So in this, um, tell us, you are part of the Basic Income Earth Network. Uh, what is your role there? Uh, I'm vice chair of Basic Income Earth Network. Um, Basic Income Earth Network is an educational uh, charity. 
Um, it started off in the 1980s, and uh, then it was a basic income European network because it was an initiative from uh, from Europeans, uh, mostly academics. And then in 2004, it became a basic income uh, Earth network. And so basically, what we do is we well, try to be a link between individuals and groups that are interested in basic income and foster uh, informed discussion uh, on this topic throughout, well, throughout the world. And we do that through our website. Uh, we through that, do that through uh, linking uh, different academics uh, that do research on the same uh, topic. Uh, we uh, have uh, 37 or 38 affiliate organizations from all over the world. Uh, and every year, one of this, these affiliate organizations organize um, uh, a, a conference so where people from all over the world yeah, come together and uh, talk to each other and, and inspire each other to, to get this thing uh, done, <laughs> basically. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, really, it's a really nice um, community because it's basic income is, in essence, uh, a, a way of, you know, to show unconditional love, basically, to, to everyone. So the people that are working and are active in this community are also, you know, have this, this feeling of unconditionality uh, in, the, yeah, in the bones, in the cells. So, yeah. And it's very nice because uh, everybody can learn from each other experiences because uh, there is no one single truth. And, and this is what makes it resilient and stronger, right? Yeah, yeah, there are many ways to, 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 to make this happen. I mean, you can do it from top down, you do it from the United Nations level, from government level, you can, you can do it from bottom up, community driven basic income. And I think we will need a mix of, of, uh, of all those um, ways to, to finance it in, in the end. Yeah. Uh, also, you are a co founder of Mission Possible 2030. Uh, tell us what is Mission Possible 2030 doing and how proof of humanity members can contribute to it. Mission Possible 2030 um, is basically an organization that we founded because we, we, well, we realized that basic income contributes to the majority of the Sustainable Development Goals, yeah. so hence the, 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 the year 2030. Um, it also gives us a feeling of, of, of um, yeah, we have, we have no time to waste. You know, if we want to achieve all those goals, then a basic income should be part of, 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 of the solution. And what we try to do is um, where the other organizations, you know, are informing and advocating for basic income, we actually try to implement it. Um, so we have several projects. Uh, one of them is uh, that we, oh, we started off with a village in, uh, in Kenya, Kowiti A, uh, where we, well, basically give money to, to the people. And my dream is that we use this village, a whole village, to connect to a project like Proof of Humanity so that they get used to uh, using tokens, uh, uh, crypto wallets, um, so we get rid of the middleman because we experience that, you know, if you, if you want to um, transfer fiat money to, from, from Europe to Kenya, that's a lot of hassle. Yeah. And, you know, and uh, uh, cryptocurrencies, blockchain technology is uh, so much easier to use and to get the money directly to the people. So that is, for example, something that uh, the Proof of Humanity community could, could help us with to get this whole village, a whole village uh, hooked on to, to the Proof of Humanity uh, network. Uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's great. Also, there was this uh, news the, the, the day before yesterday about uh, Nigeria opening its ecosystem to Bitcoin specifically. Um, and, and it's very good following what El Salvador did. Um, do you have a, a specific call to action for the people, for the humans of free of humanity that could help uh, somehow uh, Mission Possible 2030 or this village that you are saying? Uh, well, I mean, in, in general, I mean, we are a group of volunteers. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so we can always need people like designers, people that spread the news, people that help us with fundraising. Uh, people that help us designing, uh, for example, we have a project in, in, in Ghana where we, where we are negotiating now with a, a pyrolysis factory uh, to, to share the profit to the people, you know, and that uh, infrastructure has to be built so we can use programmers, we can use, well basically, well, basically we can use all the help we can get 
Um, um, so, I mean, if people contact us and they share their passion, uh, uh, then we can, you know, uh, um, talk and, and have a chat about how they uh, can work with us uh, uh, in their best way. Because it's always important uh, that, that, you know, that resonates with basic income as well, that you follow your heart uh, and, uh, um, and, and, and contribute the way you want to do that. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is very important so that people can uh, follow their heart while doing good, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, um, and if, 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 you know, if there are programmers that know how to build DAOs that can generate money, you know, I mean, that would be the, the, the biggest dream, you know, that we have DAOs that generate money and that distribute it automatically to the people. Um, um, that is, you know, we have so many algorithms that make money for the happy few, but why not create algorithms that make money for all of us? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll put uh, the link to um, Mission Possible 2030 and to you so that people can um, get in contact and start contributing also, volunteering in, into this that great be cause great. of yours. Yeah. Um, so now that you are a member of Proof of Humanity 2, <laughs> I would like to make you a proposal. So as most of people will agree, uh, voting is important and having informed votes is even more. Uh, it will be an honor to have your knowledge, experience, and passion that you have already told, uh, told to everyone here uh, involved in the decision-making of Proof of Humanity. Would you like to be a delegate in Proof of Humanity? Uh, but wait, before you answer me, let me explain what is the responsibility will, that this responsibility will imply to you and to all the audience. Uh, this channel proposes an event called Planetary Senate. It will be a once a month gathering with all delegates in Proof of Humanity. And there it will be discussed publicly and on live the most crucial challenges that Proof of Humanity and the UBI token are facing. So delegates will have the duty to research before the gathering. So during it, everyone is able to present potential solutions. And these solutions will be added to the governance threat of each discussed challenge with the purpose to enrich the conversation and engage the community in it. When voting opens, delegates are required to participate. A delegate is someone who has been trusted a person's vote. However, the person is sovereign on their vote and thus can directly vote if disagrees with its delegate. Now that you and everyone listening um, know the implications and requirements of being a delegate, I will ask you again. Would you like to, be, would you like to represent the interests of humanity as a delegate in the Planetary Senate? Of course, Umberto, without a doubt. No, I'd be honored to do that even. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we have the first delegate of the <laughs> Planetary Senate. <laughs> Great. I'm already excited to have uh, this uh, first session. Uh, we need to invite other key actors of the UBI movement of sustainable development goals and the crypto commons. So it becomes a mission totally possible uh, as um, the, the organization that you are running. Uh, so, in, in this moment, I invite all the audience, uh, if you know someone that could be a great delegate and you would like to have him or her interviewed here, please add the name in the comments of this video or send us an email to uh, the mail that appears here so that uh, we can interview. And also, Hilde, if you know other people that uh, are very active and passionate about this, uh, please also share their contacts so we can interview them and we can enrich this planetary senate with more people that are experts and passionate about this. Um, well, before ending this interview, I want to give thanks to the UBI peer-to-peer -peer group, which you will be able to find soon in Discord too. They are those brave merchants that took the initiative to receive payments in UBI. Uh, so support Proof of Humanity and the UBI token by paying in UBI now also available with ultra low transactions costs through the Polygon network. And also thank you very much for, to all the members of the UBI Rebel Alliance, which actively volunteer to assist, defend and guide the community whenever it is needed. You are our true heroes. Thanks Rocio, Luis, Mati, Javier, Ignacio, Juanma, Juanci, Darío, Ana, eh, Gaston, Ruben, Wanda, Mateo, Nicolas, Miguel, and also thanks to Justin Callan and Robo Teddy, as well as all those amazing people who I couldn't mention, but whose daily contributions make Proof of Humanity a strong and resilient community. 
Thank you very much for your time here, Hilde. We are very happy to have you improve humanity and even more to have you as a delegate. We invite everyone here to take action by participating in uh, Mission Possible 2030 to contact Hilde and to contribute in UBI. Thanks, Hilde. Thank you very much, Herbert. It's a real honor. And it's, a, it's, a, it's excellent uh, honor to be a part of the Proof of Humanity community now. <laughs> Yes, yes, this is such a great you news. To get those video right, that video right, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything is a, a constant uh, no, but improvement. It's good. It's, good. it's good that you have to, you know, put effort into proving that you are a real human. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good. I, hope, I hope it gets uh, improved soon because, well, now, now it has helped around 7,500 people, but yeah, we need to cover the 7.5 billion and more right yeah, yeah, so yeah. so we need a lot of people to engage in yeah yeah but i think that the, the, the link with uh, you know the direct democracy and things like that it's it's it, this goes beyond uh basic income this goes beyond this is real um yeah this is this is this is a transition to uh, to uh, to how the world should be governed in the end you know by the people yes 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 there is also an initiative called Decentralized United Nations that it's also linked to this and is uh, having, instead of having uh, states voting in these global issues, as you are saying, having people and having delegates to that we as, per, as, as, as one person trust uh, others to take better decisions in uh, specific subjects. Yeah, right? exactly. That's what it should go. Yeah, that's, that's what it should be like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you very much for your time here, Hilde, and we look uh, forward to see you in the Proof of Humanity Governance and in the Planetary Senate. Great. Thank you, Meta. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs>